Hi, I'm Alan Wilson, Product Application Engineer for NXP Semiconductor in the Microcontrollers Organization. Today I'm going to show you our lab tool product. It is an add-on board with our Link2 debugger. The Link2 is becoming very popular. It's a debugger that can uh, provide protocol support for SimSys DAP, also JLink, and our Link uh, debugger device. You can see here we've added the expansion headers on the top. These are digital and analog expansion headers and this is where we're going to connect the lab tool. First thing I want to point out is that the Link2 device actually contains our LPC4370 microcontroller and this is what actually facilitates the use of this product. It has high-speed USB, it has an 80 mega sample A to D converter and a serial GPIO module for high-speed digital acquisition. So the first thing we're going to do is attach this component to the lab tool product. I'm going to remove the jumpers because they're not needed you're going to need to remove those two from when you're debugging with board. So we take the lab tool in hand on this side and we're going to carefully mate up the two products using the connectors that are on board. Be careful not to overstress the board when you're applying pressure on both sides. So there, it's connected. I'm just going to take a walk around this uh, lab tool device so you can see what it has. Obviously we have a probe bundle. We've got digital and analog cable inputs on the connector here. We've got BNC cables for high precision analog and as well we have demonstration signals that are already generated on the board including I squared C, SPI, we have a heartbeat PWM signal, we have uh, some up down counters that you can use to actually verify the tool is working. In, a, in addition all of the functions of the uh, Pro bundle and these demo signals are so screened on the back so you can see them easily. Now I'm going to go to the GUI. So I fired up the GUI for lab tool. You can see that I've got a protocol analyzer already selected. The protocols that are supported are I squared C, UART, and SPI. You can display the data that's being transmitted on the product uh, right on the screen. You can see here I have an I squared C protocol analyzer loaded and the clock and data are being displayed, uh, being interpreted and displayed on the tool. So we've connected two probe cables. You can see that we have I squared C clock, I squared C data, and the protocol analyzer showing us everything that's being transferred across the bus. Additional protocols that are supported by the lab tool GUI are UART and SPI. You can very easily add new signals just by uh, clicking the add signal button. I've already got digital zero and digital one uh, being shown on the screen. I can select different signals, including the analog functions that are here, and in case of the digital signals, I can add the, the other protocol analyzer that's needed. The scope can sample up to 100 megahertz. You can change the sample rate just by choosing the sliding button. Lab tool is very inexpensive. It's good for any bench use by any developer. It has analog support, digital support, protocol support. In addition, it has signal generator function where you can actually create your own digital or analog waveforms. It's very beneficial for debugging new hardware. Thanks for viewing our video today. Be sure to click on the link below to get more product information from Embedded Artists and NXP.